Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Let me show you how I prefer to practice fire making for enjoyment. Now maybe we got enough sun. Switch from the reading glasses back over to the wallet Fresnel lens. Put these ridges towards the sun. This is probably three times more powerful than those reading glasses. If the lights go out again unexpectedly, even though the ember may not be ready, which we need a deep, a deep ember, I'll go ahead and blow on it. Hopefully it's, it's enough to make it go. But when I first came out here, all these clouds were not in the sky. And it just got dim. It's switching between dim and bright. It takes about two minutes to develop a good enough amber to start blowing on it. Let's give it a try. Like I told you yesterday, if you coordinate it enough to blow on it while you have the focal point trained on it, that's ideal. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one real. Catch you on the next one.
Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Let's do a little hand drill this morning. I'm loving that quarter inch mullen spindle and we'll once again use it on that pine fireboard that you saw me split out. It's already sharp. And the spine is sharp. It's getting short. We started off at about two feet, now it's down to about 18 inches but it is still performing very well. And this divot here, can you see where it's so much harder on the backside of this divot that the spindle just drifted forward, but it never popped out. But now this is on too much of a inclined plane for me to try to get another ember out of it. This is almost too soft right here but I'm gonna go ahead and try to use that. We'll take one more look at it in the bright sun. And here is the divot that we'll use. That busted out. This part of the board is just too weak. Let's try this right here. I still think it's gonna be an easy ember. going to be able to make this quarter inch mullen spindle work i think what's going on is this wall thickness is not hardy enough not beefy enough thick enough to make enough friction and it's kind of short this is that yucca that i got off the sidewalk i told you i was passing it for many weeks and it was just laying outside somebody's house but on the public right of way on the sidewalk so I stopped and got it. I'll leave the link to that video right up here. And it's been a great spindle. This should produce just fine, no problem. Yeah, I thought it'd be a different story with that yucca. It shouldered out also, but it got the job done. And this one's close to two feet long. So, good. Now, of course, you would want to have your tinder processed up already. This is not a survival situation. This is like just a little extra challenge for me is the reason I do it like this. Oh, 
All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.